All right, so we're going to talk about this geometric formulation of the dot product in a minute, but before we get there, um, we need to look at a few properties. Uh, and all of these come from that algebraic formula that we get by multiplying the components of the corresponding vectors and then adding them up. Right? Um, now, all of these properties are pretty, well, maybe I, easy is maybe a word we shouldn't throw around, but you know, that, they're not so hard to see. It's not so hard to see that these are true. Right? Um, so, for example, if u and v are vectors in R2, right, then and u dot v would be u1 v1 plus u2 v2. Um, but now these are just products of regular real numbers. And we know that order doesn't matter when you're multiplying real numbers. So I could write that as v1 times u1 ta plus v2 times u2. And that's exactly what I would get if I did the dot product um, v dot u. And you get a similar calculation in three dimensions. Right? Um, the distributive property here comes from the distributive property for regular real numbers. When you work out the dot product, um, Taylor, with the definition of addition for vectors, you will find that everything kind of checks out. It's a relatively straightforward algebraic calculation. All right. Um, and this one here says that you can move the scalar around. It doesn't matter where you put it, you will get the same answer. And again, it's, it's just factoring, right? It's the fact that a scalar multiple is really a common factor among the components of a vector. And if you have a common factor in a product, you can, well, you can factor it out. <laughs> That's all it's really saying. Uh, this one, quite clear, I think, uh, if you dot with a zero vector, right, the components of the zero vector, right, zero, you know, is, is well, zero, zero in two dimensions, or one more, four in three dimensions. And, you know, the dot product formula says we take the components from the zero vector and we multiply the components for, let's say, u, and, well, anything times zero is zero, right? And so we get zero plus zero plus zero. It adds up to zero. Um, and in the last one here, well, u dotted with itself, right? Um, u, if u is equal to, say, let's say it's u1 u2, u3, well then u dotted with u is just going to be u1 times u1, and then u2 times u2, and then u3 times u3, right? But that's just u1 squared plus u2 squared plus u3 squared, which is the square of the magnitude. Uh, so all of these properties, these, these come in handy in a lot of problems where, where we need a fair amount of algebraic manipulation, in particular to establish this property here. Right? Um, so with these properties in mind, I think we are ready to, to tackle this proof, and uh, we'll, we'll do that in the next video.